Well, Kyle, you just hit the three biggest free throws of your life. Take a step back for a second. What was it like to be out there on the line knowing you had a chance if you connected with all three to put your team in the national championship game? I'm a, I'm a player that has a lot of confidence in himself. Not arrogance, it's humble. I'm very humble, but I knew that, you know, I had an opportunity to win this, uh, this game. And, you know, Ty had enough confidence in me to pass it to me. And I actually thought I made it. And, uh, but, you know, I stood at the line and I just told myself that, you know, this is what you've always dreamed of and this is your opportunity to, to, to seize the moment. And, uh, you know, probably was the biggest uh, game and shots of my career. Um, but my, my fiance didn't want to say, didn't let me say it was the biggest game of my career because she said I was putting too much pressure on myself. But I can say it now, those are the biggest shots of my career for sure. How much did you feel the contact that forced the foul? Yeah, I, there was no way I was going to be able to land. I know there's going to be controversy in every foul call that happens in the last 10 seconds because sometimes they let it go, sometimes they don't. Um, I really do. I, I feel bad for, for Auburn because they played a hell of a game. Um, they, they played a hell of a game. They're well coached, and they got a lot of respect for them. How do you put into words what you guys have experienced this last week, Purdue, the way that ends in regulation, and then an overtime win, and then the way this game ends? Yeah, I honest to God do not have the words. Um, I'm very thankful, grateful. Um, this team is resilient. We've been through so much, and you know we just continue to, to keep knocking down barriers and, and jumping hurdles. Um, I, I really don't. I don't have the words. I mean, I have. I've had enough. You know, these last two games have put me on a high. I'm good for life. So. And Kyle, when you walked off the court last year in Charlotte, losing to UMBC, what did you think was possible a year later? Um, you're looking at. I think uh, the first thing that runs through your mind is a team that's 31 and three and loses in the first round for the first time ever is like, wow, we had something special. We could have, you know, done what we're doing now. Um, and you know, when I got into the locker room, went to the shower by myself, I was bawling my eyes out, and I was just like. Never again, and that's why I still have it as my um, screensaver in my phone. It's still hung up on my wall. Like I'm not trying to forget it. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to tackle it. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you.